Alright, so you would like to learn how to add a drop shot to your video? My name is Project Judo, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So, in your media pool right here, after you open it, you either want to right click to import media, or drag it from your file explorer. Drag it down to this timeline, and then over here to the left, add a track, move this up one, go to the edit tab, and look up background. With this magnifying glass, look up background. I like to use this one. There's a couple of other backgrounds. I don't know how well they work, but this one's a really nice background to use. Then want to go back to your cut tab and hit the fusion tab down here. And you're gonna be basically editing your video right here however you want. Now what you're gonna want to do is hit shift space after clicking on median one. And you're gonna look up transform. Now in the transform tab, you're gonna to wanna to edit the size so it's smaller than one. 0.5 is kinda of nice, 0.7 is kinda of nice. Depends on what you're going for kinda. Of. I'm gonna do 0.5 just so you guys can see it easier. And then click on transform one again. Give space, drop shadow. And do I like to do personally is strengthen the shadow strength. And that's really about it. Just strengthen the shadow strength. Can change your color of it if you want. You can blur it more. This, but the defaults look pretty nice already. And you want to go back to your cut tab here at the bottom. You want to go to your tracks over here and disable track two. You want to disable track two so you can click on this, hover over it, and go to your fusion again. So now you're editing the textured background. And you probably want nice contrast with your shadow drops so it can really stand out. And they have all these different versions up here if you want to use them. Version 1, I'll be using I'll be using version 1 for now. I'm going to gradient. And I'm going to change the color here actually to um, white. Because I think that could contrast well. Nah. And I'm also going to mess around with this a bit. I think I'm going to make it brighter and less contrast. And just give it a white background. It's a bit textured. And then I'm going to go back to my cut tab and enable track 2 and here as you can see it has a nice backdrop here and do whatever you want with this then I'm gonna go to the edit tab compound the clip and yeah nice backdrop for the section where it was where you had your adjustment layer that's all thank you for watching